and Val Geist. Today, I'm going to learn how to cross-country ski. Can you believe it? Louise is my instructor, and uh, she's going to teach me. She's one of the instructors here at Crystal Lake and really knows her stuff. Um, Louise, you know, first of all, I mean, these are foreign to me, so I don't even know how to put them on. Okay, first of all, you don't have a right and left ski, so let's put the skis down on the snow. Uh, why don't you point them in the other direction, so we'll head off to the ski trees. Um, you have a bar in the front of your boot. Just tap to get the snow out and come in and place the bar between the purple and the black and squish your, no, you're too far forward, a little bit here. All right, now squish down like you're squishing um, with your toe. You should hear it clicked in. I'm in. Okay, great. Put the other one on. Okay, just pick your feet up and march as though you were walking. And I will get my skis on as well. There's a proper way to put your pole on. Come up through the loop, wave, come down and hold it with your thumb and index finger. That's a lot like skiing, Louise. Yes, that's right. That's what we're going to do. Just like my alpine uh, ski poles, I would put them on the same way. Right, and you can adjust the straps either tighter or looser, whichever feels comfortable to you. Let's just start walking with our skis and let's drag our poles behind us. Just drag your poles and let's just walk and look straight ahead. The trees are beautiful, covered with snow. We're going on the back way trail. Let's do a few jogging movements. Just bounce up and down. Okay, from that we'll go into a glide and just glide. Let's just lower yourself. Look straight ahead. Don't look at your skis. Take a step to the right so that you can get into the track and just gently glide and glide. Let's lower our center of gravity a little bit, keeping our head straight and our back straight and just enjoy what's around here. Just glide and glide. Keep your hands low. Okay. Keep looking ahead. Look at the snow coming down. It's so beautiful here. We're right along the lake. Okay, how are you feeling? Pretty good, Louise. Okay. Let's keep those hands down low. And let's do a double pole now. It's really fun, Louise. Great. So, Louise, uh, how long have you been teaching cross-country skiing here at Crystal Lake? Uh, plus 30 years I've been coming up. It's a wonderful touring center. We have close to about 20 to 30 miles of trails of all ability levels from beginner to intermediate to more advanced. Uh, the terrain is so interesting because you have something for everybody, young and old. We used to have elder hostels here and we would have people for a week and it was wonderful. Uh, to see some of the retired people coming out to learn a new hobby. It's something that you can do in the winter time and enjoy the serenity and the beauty of nature. Uh, we have a variety of wildlife and we also have a variety of uh, trees and plant life which you can and tracks of animals. So there is so much to do here. It's, it's just beautiful. It's easy to learn how to cross-country ski, obviously, uh, judging from how quick I'm picking it up, and I've never done it. Um, what do you teach people? I mean, if you have someone that's coming from an alpine background, it's probably easier. Um, what do you teach somebody when they want to learn? Well, we just uh, find out what their ability level is, what they would like to do with their cross-country skiing. Do they just want to stroll and, and just enjoy the flat level? Uh, or do they want to learn how to go up hills and down hills, go around corners, uh, being in control and being comfortable with what they're doing. We te teach children probably around the age of six, it all depends on the child, and the oldest person that I know of that began cross-country skiing began at age 80, and he came back until he was at least 87. So you, you have the whole gamut of age range. So anybody can really just come out here for the day, uh, rent a pair of skis and boots, um, and take a lesson from somebody like Louise that really knows what they're doing, 
and get an idea of if they like cross-country skiing or not. And honestly, it's such a great fitness sport. It's, it's a great cardio sport, um, and it gets you outside. Get out here to Crystal Lake and try it for yourself. Uh, I just learned how to cross country ski and yes. what if I want to go to the Olympics? What's your advice to me? <laughs> oh, get training and keep training. <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard it. I guess I better get practicing. <laughs>